Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and today I already know we're gonna have a whole lot of fun because I brought out this incredible bolt action rim fire rifle, that being the CZ 457, and this is the trainer model. But you can see this one, it's got iron sights on it. Right there under the scope is the rears. And I did a video on this a couple weeks ago doing an ammo test with the iron sights. And at 120 yards, we were drilling like three inch steel up here easily with the iron sights. And I did an ammo test with a bunch of different 22 LR ammo. And that was two weeks ago. And I can't even remember which one was the best. You guys might have, if you've seen the video, got a better memory than me. But um, I wanted to put a scope on this thing and really squeeze out some precision out of this thing. Um, if you're a CZ fan, you know pretty much everything that CZ puts out is good stuff. Um, including this, so far with the iron sights. But I actually got some uh, scope rings in from Warren, but they were too low and they were hitting this uh, rear sight. I tried a hundred different ways to try to take this rear sight off um, and could not do it. I tried to punch this front piece out. No matter what I tried to do, I could not get this uh, rear sight off. And the CZs come with this uh, special size dovetail, which those worn rings had, but I couldn't get this uh, rear sight off this Stackham CZ, so I ended up um, online. I found this pick rail adapter. It was like 50 bucks, um, and finally got a scope slapped on this thing. But um, that being said, we are going to try to stretch this thing out. I'm going to do another 100-yard ammo test with all different types of 22 LR, but with a scope. And the scope we got on here, what is this? The only one in my drawer of random scopes uh, that would fit and not hit this. <laughs> Uh, rear sight again CZ you need to make this rear sight easier to take off uh, but this is a BSA sweet 16 scope and how many zoomies does it have it's a three by nine zoomies so I really wanted to get like a 24 or a 30 power zoom scope on this so we could split some frog hairs at 100 yards um, because I know this has a quality rifle, but nine power zoomies is the only scope that I had that we could fit on this because of the way that they make this rear sight and I couldn't take that sucker off. Anyways, um, today for this video, I'm gonna sight this rifle in. Um, it's either gonna be a short video and real easy or a long video and I'm really gonna screw it up. Uh, mainly because this scope, for example, see on the top there, normally it would say, hey, up click it this way or down click it this way well the little uh, thing that tells me which way to give her the clickies is gone so 50 50 chance I turn it the wrong way but uh, I'm gonna see where the scopes at here at 10 yards I think I brought the laser bore cider um, then uh, once she's a little bit close we'll take her back to 100 uh, I brought out some of this Norma tech 22 simply because um, I got a lot of that. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. That's the most. I have the most of that kind. A couple boxes worth. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, sight in this CZ with this uh, zoomy scope. All right, now let me show you what we're working with. We got the CZ up here on the on the wrist. I got my laser bore sighter out here in the end of the barrel. These suckers are about fifteen dollars. I'll try to find the link and put it in the description down below. For 15, 20 bucks, everybody needs to have one of these suckers. It will save you on some ammo, pay for itself, probably the very first time you use it. But I got that little uh, laser job there in the end of the barrel. Then at 10 yards, got a little paper plate there. Do I have the laser on there yet? Yep, you can see the laser there. So what I'm gonna do, is get that laser in the center 
There we go. Close to the center. And you know what? I can probably adjust this, can I? Shoot. I'm going to leave the camera on the laser. And I'm, I'm uh, adjusting my rest here, you see? I'm adjusting that rest. I'm going to put the laser dead center. And then I'm going to come back here. Now we got the laser on the center out there. I'm going to come back here. Do some clicking my bobs on my scopey thing here until I get the reticle looking at the same place. I wonder if our camera's going to let us do this. So where's the, uh, you can see that red dot on the center of the plate there. There we go, that's halfway decent. You can see what I'm talking about. That laser's on that red, but our crosshairs are not matching it. So I'm going to move the crosshairs until they're on that laser, then take a shot quick. Hopefully this is going to work like it's supposed to, but I'm going to do some clickies, take a shot, and we'll see what happens. All right, now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but I've got that uh, the crosshairs and the laser pretty much hitting the exact same spot. Probably hard to see there, but you guys get the gist. Now, I'm going to take that laser out. you got to take that uh, laser out before you start flinging bullets, and... Then I'm going to put my hat on so I don't look like a crazy person and see where that's hitting at 10 yards. And then we're going to take her back to 100. It's probably going to be off up or down at 100. I don't think at 10 yards it hits the same at 100 for 22 LR. Honestly can't remember. It's been too long since I flung 22 LR that far. But we're going to get it dead on at 10 yards and then see where it hits at 100. Should be pretty cool. All right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I can move it over here so you can see me. Uh, so now, if I did everything right like I was supposed to, we should put a hole right through that little red dot on that plate very first shot. I loaded up three of these Normas. Let's, uh, let's see if I can hit that red dot. Ooh, that hit right quite a ways, didn't it? Um, I'm going to make some adjustments right to left. Well, at least the laser got us on paper, but I screwed something up, didn't I? So that was left, so we need to click her right. Who knows how many clicks that was, but 10 or 12 probably. Let's shoot another one here. Aiming right on that red dot. That was a little bit closer, so we probably need 7 or 8 more clickies the same direction. Now let's see where this one's at. Alright, I'm going to give it two more. Yeah, we ought to be pretty close now uh, to that red. Let's go back to 100 yards. We're about dead on at 10 yards. Let's go back to 100 and see where we're at on a piece of paper plate from 10 yards. I don't know, are we going to be high or low? We're about to fix them to find out. 100 yards. All right, now we got that CZ457 dialed in just about perfect at 10 yards. I'm actually super curious to see where it's going to hit at 100. With normal center fire rifles at 10 yards, I normally sight them in like two inches low. Then they're pretty close to being dead on at 100. That's like 308, 30 out 6, 270, that type stuff. But Here's what we got set up here. I got four paper plates, then we're gonna go back to 100 yards. One of these plates, we're gonna get it dialed in and dead on, and then we're gonna take three of the other plates and just do like five, six, seven shot groups, just for fun. 22 LR is always fun for plinking. Let's do this, we'll take one of the plates, side it in, then the other three we'll do five shot groups and see if this CZ is worth anything. I'm 99% sure it's going to be awesome, but never know. We'll see what happens. All right, now to the fun part. I got five of these Norma Tech 22s loaded up. That may be enough for us to get it sighted in. Let's we'll see what happens. Still not enough. All right, so that's slightly kind of ghetto. Uh, I'm going to have to put something under the front of this table. But, we're shooting 22 LR, not 300 wind mag, so... Should be okay. 
I wish we had more zoomies, like I said, but I'm going to take a shot of the top left plate there. See where it hits, hopefully on that same plate. Hit high, so if you sight it in at 10 yards, your 22 LR with one of these uh, Normas is going to be 5-6 inches high. And I didn't bring my little tool to adjust it, so I'm going to use my knife. And I don't remember which way we turned it, so I'm going to guess. Turn it one way, and if it's wrong, we'll turn it the other way. I guess I can just click it with my hands. Well, there was a bunch of clicks by turning it to the right. Let's see where this hits. Too many clicks. Let's try these. Try this one. We're closer. Two more clicks, and looks like we need a couple clicks to the right, too, while we're at it. Three clickies to the right. Now let's see where she hits. We got another shot in here? Yeah, we do. Two more clicks to the right. And two more clicks up. And we'll do some five shot groups on some clean plates. We kiss the ring of that thing. I'm gonna come, come right just to shave more. Two more clicks right. Now, let me load up five more and we'll go to a clean plate to see what happens. Even though I'm only using the nine power zoom and I'm kinda got this table rigged up hanging off the edge, I'm still going to do my best on squeezing this trigger. See what we can do here. I'll be back after I load this thing up. All right, the top right plate. Let's see what happens. Do my best on five shots here. We got the ring. And if you're new to the channel, those circles down there, I traced a penny. So that circle is the size of a penny. This nine power zoom, my crosshairs are pretty much covering that whole circle. Pretty good group there. Now let's go down and, and uh, I guess that's all five of my shots there, isn't it? Let me reload it and we'll do uh, another five shot group here. This is fun. All right, five more shots. Somebody's gonna say, you need to let that barrel cool down. Nobody got time for that. Let's uh, do five more here on a clean plate. Do the bottom right below that one. Do you let the barrel cool down before you pop that squirrel out there in the trees? I don't think you do, partner. Oh, we got her dialed in now, boys. Pretty much shooting the same hole there. I think that's a testament to both the rifle and this ammo here. Ah, oh, that one I got a little trigger happy. I think that one was me. But let's load up five more and do one more little group here. All right, five more. Five shot group. See what we can do. A little higher there. There's three five shot groups. Let's go down there and take a look, see how we did. All right, so walking up to our targets here. Remember, this one we got her sighted in with five shots. 
Then we did one, we did one, two, three, five shot groups. So there's our first one. Two of them in the same hole, pretty much three of them touching. And remember, that's a penny. So I'd say that's a penny size group at 100 yards. Second one, we had three in just about the same hole. Just a little bit bigger group than a penny. And then that last one there, we had another three in about the same hole. Three must be the, the lucky number there. I'd say that's pretty near the size of a penny size group there too. So, thumbs up. But, hey, appreciate you guys watching the video. Super, super uh, impressed so far with this CZ457 trainer model. Uh, with this setup, you can see there at 100 yards, we're getting several shots in the same hole, not letting it cool down. Just kind of banging them out and having some fun. And that's only with a nine power zoom scope. So at nine, nine power zoom at 100 yards, you can't be 100% perfect that you're holding dead exact the same spot every time. Um, I know nine power zoom is plenty for hunting, two, 300, 400 yards, whatever. Uh, but um, we could definitely probably tighten those even a little bit tighter if we had uh, more zoomies on that baby. But we gave her all the zooms with nine, and I think she did great. I keep having bugs landing on me, man. But hey, uh, CZ457, two thumbs up. Uh, so far, it likes that uh, Norma Tech 22 ammo too. Stay tuned if you're interested in seeing it. We are going to have an ammo test video come out with this rifle where I'm going to go through and test every single type of 22 LR I can get my hands on. Same test at 100 yards. Maybe we can um, even find an ammo that this rifle likes even better. But appreciate you guys watching. Check out all the links down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my friend's heavy metal link down below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hootie hoo! Oh.